Let me get this image by itself, then I can save a little bit of time and just do it here. All right, so what it's asking for is, what the question is asking for is the distance between the um, two high, well, the real ray and the hypothetical ray. Um, I mean, it's asking for this distance here, but let me make it a little bit easier and just to transport it up to here. Because the light rays are parallel after this point, the distance doesn't change after this point. Everyone okay with that? Okay, so I'm trying to figure out this delta x. Uh, let me take my own, own advice again. I'm going to draw some auxiliary figures to help me see the relationship that may be there that I can hopefully use. So um, if you're not used to drawing auxiliary figures, the, one of the first things you should try is look at any of the lines that are already there and just extend it to infinity. Because, you know, maybe something will be visible after you extend this line to infinity. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not. It, you know, until you try it, you don't know. All right, so I have that. I'm not sure if that got me anything. Oh, maybe it did. Oh, um, so as you are staring at this for a long time, what I'm, or you know, for the right amount of time, what I'm hoping you will see is that you will see these two triangles. This triangle here, and one more triangle. Uh, I guess I can draw it in red. The other triangle here. They are both right triangles here, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I know the angle of one of them, that's good. Do I know the angle for the red triangle? The angle here, do I know that for the red triangle? What is it? Yeah, theta one. I have this angle here, and this is the, I don't know what the name you call it in geometry is. It's the angle on the other side. So there's a, some theorem in geometry that says, Alternate size? Maybe, I don't know. I forgot all those names. I just know what equations to write down. <laughs> Whatever it is, but okay. So I know that angle, I know this angle. So what I'm hoping you are realizing is that you have enough information to calculate this length here, and you have enough information in purple to calculate this, this, uh, this oh sorry, not angle, calculate this length here and calculate this length here. And delta x is the difference between those two um, lengths. So let me call this distance one, call this distance two. So what I have to do is write down the expressions for these two distances. D1 is going to be, that's the opposite side of that angle. And um, I guess you have to make a choice what you know. Do you know the hypotenuse of this triangle here? No, what do you know? Yeah, you know the thickness, so let me call this T, you know this side. So you are trying to find the opposite side, you know the adjacent side, that sounds like a tangent, toa, tangent opposite over adjacent. Um, so D1 should be the tangent of theta one times the thickness t. And d2 should be same expression, different angle, tangent of theta 2 times t. Yeah. So this is the basic starting point. And you would have to figure out what theta 2 is. You can do that based on Snell's law that says uh, n1 times uh, sine of theta one is equal to n two times sine of theta two. And if you want, you could work this out algebraically, you know, algebraically write down what delta x is, d two minus d one. If, you know, it, it would be good practice for algebra. But depending on how, you, how comfortable you feel with algebra, it would be perfectly fine if you found the theta two here numerically plug it in here to get D1 and D2 numerically, and get this difference numerically. That's also fine. Yeah, but it's a good algebra practice to write down this expression entirely in symbols. 